The investigates is learning about the termination of a Savannah police detective that was found to have violated several department policies and even the law. WTOC's uh, Shay Schrader has been looking into this for months now and, and how it is impacting a triple murder case. She tells us what she found. Daryl Repress was a detective for the Savannah Police Department, and before he was fired back in September, he had six disciplinary incidents and multiple citizen complaints against him. He was disciplined by SPD for things like calling women crude names and for using excessive force against people that weren't resisting arrest. But none of those incidents were what got him fired. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's so embarrassing. Not, like it just, it just. I get that, man. I know, and there's a lot coming down on you right now, and I, I can't even imagine it. Like, but I don't, don't even, like, this, throw this, a truth this, this on top of right, it. Right, this just has destroyed my home and everything. Corporal Daryl Repress was fired for nine violations of Savannah Police Department policies, including having a sexual relationship with a felon in which he revealed confidential police information, knowingly taking part in the purchase and sale of stolen items and lying about it to SPD, according to Savannah Police Department documents. A woman that complained to SPD's Internal Affairs Office, who will call Jane Doe, says Repress was threatening an ex-friend of hers, who will call Jane Rowe. Doe saying that Roe and Repress had a sexual relationship, violating an SPD policy against officers associating with felons. Jane Doe said he was threatening to take warrants out on her and others for, quote, playing with his name, which would be a clear abuse of power by an officer. That threat was captured on this Facebook live stream. I'm about to put warrants on I'm going to put warrants on I'm going to put warrants on SPD records show that after the live stream happened and the complaint was filed, SPD called Repress in for an interview. Do you, do you understand how that looks as an officer? Yes, I do to, understand. To I, the public. Um, I, I definitely understand how it looks. That's why I said, I, I get it, sorry. I get it. Trust me, I get it. Jane Doe also said Repress used Roe as a source for investigations. When asked about this undisclosed source by SPD Internal Affairs, Repress also admitted to having at least one sexual encounter with Roe and giving her money out of his own pocket in exchange for information. A separate complaint filed says Repress sent this body cam footage to Jane Rowe that ended up putting an inmate's family in danger because the inmate was providing information in a homicide case. Have you ever provided or sent anybody body cam outside of law enforcement? Do you remember? Um, I can't attest probably, but... I can't attest. Following the conclusion of the internal affairs investigation in September 2023, Repress was fired from the Savannah Police Department. Now, the effects of Repress's firing are being felt in the court system on cases he was involved with. Attorney Jonah Pine tells WTOC that Repress had key testimony in a triple homicide case from 2015. Gerald Williams was put in jail after being accused of taking part in the 2015 killings of Anderson Mells, Gary Mells, and Johnny Green. The three were found shot to death in a house in Savannah. Williams, along with two other suspects, were indicted on murder charges in 2021. Repress was part of the major crimes unit that reopened the murder investigation that same year. And according to court documents, Repress testified that Williams was identified by a witness in a photo lineup. However, a motion filed by Williams's defense claims that Repress was not the one who conducted the lineup, and it was another detective who says the witness identified one of the other suspects, but not Williams. Pine says if Repress's integrity is questioned, his client could get out. Absent Detective Repress's lies, I don't think that the state of Georgia has any evidence left. Daryl Repress did not return WTOC's request for comment. The Savannah Police Department declined to comment, as did the Chatham County District Attorney's Office, saying they don't comment on pending cases. The case involving Williams has been scheduled for a jury trial several times, but each of those docket calls have been canceled. There's a motion hearing in the case slated for May 7th. And meanwhile, Daryl Repress's post certification, which you have to have to be a police officer in Georgia, is under investigation. We will continue to follow this case on WTOC. Stick with us for the latest updates.